Hey guys, welcome back to Tariff God New World. In today's video, I wanted to cover off a few things. One thing that I was wrong about uh, in one of my previous videos, talking about the timing of the events and the updates, which is actually a really good thing. I thought they were doing it the same as previous, but I I'm honestly really impressed with how the, w the way Netmarble's going about this game, uh, listening to feedback and improving on the systems. Uh, and I'm curious to see what else they're going to bring in the future, because honestly, I, I didn't expect this game to start keep going in a better direction. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is Vespa a little bit more, and then I want to give you guys a bit of an account update where I'm at, because I've been stuck for almost a week at a stage, finally cleared it, and now we are pushing again. So the first thing I wanted to talk about, like I said, I mentioned wrong in other videos, was that I thought we weren't going to get the next event with the new characters until after Vespa's growth, which is like 12 days away. But because we did get those notes, and I didn't even pay attention to dates, like I didn't even look at what the date was when I was reading these notes but that that update with the uh the coon family event is gonna be on the 20th which is actually straight after this check-in happens so pretty much we're probably gonna have two new characters with their growth missions running simultaneously so if they continue with this sort of um sort of system a big idea for me, especially for free-to-play players, but whales as well, trying to max out characters. Whales is a bit different because they kind of want everything as soon as it comes. But it would be if they're going to do this type of thing where, you know, when they have their big events, they do the check-in with a new character and then another bout of new characters like a week after, I know that can get stressful on trying to summon them, but if you just hold on that week, then if there's two characters that you like, you can actually be summoning for both of them at the same time. Now, it does mean you delay a week on getting one of them, but I think that's a really good strategy if they are going to overlap the growth missions as well, because why not complete two growth missions at once uh, and sort of like get double the efficiency? Obviously, RNG is always going to be a thing, but I think that's a really cool idea. Now, it just comes down to if you think that's too frequently adding characters. Um, I, I don't really have an opinion. Like, I'm never going to be able to build everything in this game anyway as free to play. Uh, so I'd rather be able to double dip on the, um, whatchamacallit, the progression rewards for them, uh, the growth rewards, and do it that way. I just think that is a nice way to do it. So just for free to play, when we look to the future, if a new character comes out in that in-between phase like the Vespa did, uh, like uh, Bunny on a Box did, just wait, and then hopefully we get two of them overlapping so you can complete the two missions at the same time, which is really cool. Uh, obviously, only take comes into effect if you're going for that character, but hey, maybe you get the off-banner one and you get some extras or something like that, but that is that thing. So I am really impressed. Like I said, the... This, the I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but I'm going to talk about it a bit again. The five daily summons is such a huge thing for me. Now, I may <laughs> I may have got impatient and popped 70 summons on this account. Don't worry, I didn't get a single Ihua. I know that'll make people happy. Uh, I... I popped 70 because I got I got a new person in my arena bracket and the, the amount of disrespect they're showing me, they're just farming me. Uh, and that's pretty much what's happening. I'm getting farmed by this new Korean person that's come into my arena bracket and it makes me so sad. So I rage pulled to try and get some summons to be able to compete with them, which was never going to happen because, um, yeah, <laughs> but I did it anyway. Um, but this, oh yeah, the Vespa thing I wanted to mention. The Vespa thing that I wanted to mention is that I've spoken to some people uh, who've done some other testing in the simulation. Apparently, at, uh, sorry, I always go down there. In the simulation, apparently at around like two to three X deficit, Vespa is actually pretty decent if you go heavy investment. But what I've also heard is that it kind of requires maxed out to get the early ult to start getting the pressure on. So I'm still unsold on Vespa personally, but I have heard people saying good things. I still, from my testing, can't get Vespa to work, even maxed out, but I am testing it at more that five to four to five X uh, deficit range. So uh, I, I still don't think I would recommend anyone pulling for Vespa. Uh, obviously, we all get the one free copy, which can be amazing. I feel like Vespa is going to be a great uh, tank for a third team when you get to chapter 21 with like a hats carry because then Vespa can take the initial hits like cheat death for like three seconds and then by that time hats has his spinning swords up and then he can avoid him a lot more damage and he can try an effective tank dodge tank from there on so that is the way i'm looking at vespa um once again people i have heard some good things but my testing isn't showing that yet um but as for the account like i said i did pop some summons i popped 70 summons uh i got 
I got two bunny on the boxes. I got two of her, uh, which was which is pretty nice dupes. Uh, and I got a coon in seventy summons. I think that was it. Oh, and I got and I got him. So I did get four from seventy, uh, two sub wish list spots and uh, one off wish list. That's pretty much how my summons went for the seventy summons that I popped. I'm just holding on to all my gems, but I did pop all of my uh, my tickets because I, I, you know rage summons. I should have been saving, but let's face it, I didn't hit my main wish list, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I'm definitely saving now for the Coon family event because that chick I really want. But we have we finally got unstuck we were stuck on this stage i wish it would let me view my replays uh but we were stuck on 19-8 for ages and the big stuck point was this guy this guy just absolutely cripples me because my two carries are based around crits and this guy just wants you to crit him and i was just like okay i'm critting you i ended up just trying like a hundred times with a uh my huarian here until she could rng out of it and just like dodge and uh shield enough that she could live through all of them the problem i had on this stage was that we'd kill like Marion's target was him first, but her second target was him. So we just basically had to slowly work him down and kill the other three by the AOE of her ultimate after like five ults and then get back down to one on one and finally beat him. So we pushed through. We're going pretty well. Uh, these in-between stages are also a little bit tricky for me um, because oh, these ones are not as bad. They're about a 4x, 4 to 5x deficit. Um, I've been cheesing it with this guy because what I find is the assassin really screws screws me he just runs up and kills my bomb because bomb has the worst pa worst pathing in the game uh, but yeah if i put this this guy on him uh it sort of interrupts it that's what happened on the last stage so we'll see what, we'll see how we go with this stage see if we can get the same thing to happen but yeah, man, I, I'm really happy with the way they're doing this. I know some people think that it's too frequent to have one character one week, the next character the next week. But because we overlap the growth missions, I actually think it's it's a good thing and a more efficient thing for your summons, especially if you're going for both of them. So that's that's my thoughts there. Ah, uh, yes, yes, my 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 syringe dude worked because. Previously, the assassin would always just walk through and kill my bomb straight away, but because we hold him back with the assassin, he doesn't go ahead and do that, and that's the way we've sort of been uh, cheesing through these stages. So, Ihua, once again, just punching it absolutely out of the park. There we go. All right, 14, let's go to 15, then we'll check out this 16 boss stage and see how we go. Uh, so this one's not too bad. We can cheese the fear out uh, so we don't get copped with that anywhere else. Um, I, I feel like this shouldn't be a hard stage. I, I feel like this shouldn't be a hard stage, but knowing me, I'll probably get slapped. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see how we go. Um, yeah, so it looks like we baited the fear. Now we can get an ult. We've got the attack buff. We're going to get the invincibility and that should be GG's. Unless Rock's too tanky. Unless Rock's too tanky. That's going to be my only issue here. Oh, he was. He was too tanky. He lived it. And we were too... Dude, everyone lived it. What the... Where was their healing coming from? Dude. Dude. All right, let's try this. Let's try this way. Let's bring the Huarian in. Let's get that power up. And let's see how we go. Dude, I... I do, do I need to get more dupes into my my Ewa? <laughs> Dude, I can't help it. I get so triggered. Tri like, oh, I get trigger happy with myself and sometimes I can't help it. I'm only human. I'm only human, guys. Give me a break. Uh, I should swap for Data Mashini, actually. I should swap for Data Mashini as my tank. Yeah, because uh, Zahad's dying too quick and I don't think he's getting his ult, which means we're not getting the effective uh, defense break out of it. But yeah, e even these in-between stages are being super tricky for me. So let's go with this, see if this works. But yeah, in-between stages are, are, are taking a fair bit of thought and then the boss stages are taking a fair bit of RNG. <laughs> it is pretty much where I'm at at the moment. Although the previous boss stage after I got stuck so hard because it didn't have that uh, that big, uh, what's his name? Uh, ghost? Because it didn't have Ghost, we were pretty chill and we just smacked through it. So hopefully this is the same on the next boss stage. But I need to get through this one. So how am I going to do this? My Huarian, you know what I might have to do? I might have to do this, uh, put Huarian as the, the main. And then that way we might be able to get her to survive because she's dying. And I really need her field and her mark to be able to kill things in this battle, I think. I think that's what's happening. The enemy's just too tanky. So let's see if she can get an ult off and get the shield just we need to yes good evan 
Okay, now we're getting this, and now we should be getting like infinite shielding because we should be critting. We should be critting something, surely. How did Ewa crit? Didn't? How did Ewa not crit my target? Or did she? Did it? Did that bug happen where um, Puarian kills the marked target and then she doesn't mark another one straight away? Sometimes that happens where she doesn't make a second marked target, and then like so I can't get a shield from critting. So let's see. Okay, so we're going to Wang. Oh, no, it's because it's Wang. It's because it's Wang and he dies. Oh, shit. This stage sucks for me. And once again, this I hate it when I get stuck on non-boss stages. But we'll try this one more time and then I'll come back. Because I want to see how we go on the boss stage. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, we should get a knockback. Dude, we got one tapped. All right, back in a sec. Okay, that one actually took me about like 15 more retries, just shifting the formation around, trying to find something to work. Uh, what I never realized is if your character's invisible, they don't get the fear. I don't know if I dodged the fear, but every time I wasn't getting the fear. So if we look at her, we, we attack the gray, but we don't get feared because we go invisible. I think it is, which is something new, which is a handy little tech against grays that I never knew about. So that is a pretty handy one if you want to try and test it out. But what I was actually trying, to th trying out there I wanted my EY to get feared when I first tested it because I wanted it to run backwards and be at the very back of the battlefield so that Rock didn't run into her. Uh, but this time it just worked where we got the ult off, got the shield, and then we got the Evan ult. So we managed to survive. But, uh, you know, trying to get myself feared, learned that you can't get feared when invisible, I think. I think. <laughs> Don't quote me. That's one, one, one test of it. So that is that one. So what do we have here? We have... Once again, we got the rock, we got the assassin. The assassin's a prick, and we got a bomb, and if bomb puts it on the rock, we are absolutely boned here. So we'll have to see how that one goes. We've kind of got to go full in on this team. Um, and then this team here, we should be okay to, to clear this. Our, pro our problem is that it does have the, um, the Rachel, and Rachel just deletes entire teams and we've also got the rng of this character who randomly nukes one of my teammates so hopefully we need we need to get the rng that she hits her and then we got to try and like see if somehow we get the pathing so that we don't get everyone caught up in the swirl but uh based on my team we're going to be kind of boned which makes me think i might put a melee unit here and then try and focus in the, uh, the swirl on melee units and keep these two protected a little bit. Uh, we're going to put you down there because I don't care if you die. Um, you know, let's just go in and see what happens here. I think the problem is the assassin is going to kill my bomb ASAP. So I might have to do this. Uh, and I might have to put bomb there and I put Evan there. And then I'm going to... Like, this is the one way I, I found to deal with the assassin because otherwise he just runs through my team for some reason. I don't know what it is about his pathing and stuff like that that bones me, but I'm going to try that and see how this goes. Because what's the enemy power? 10, 8. Ugh, yuck. Yuck. We're over a 5x. Uh, let's, let's, let's just see. Let's just see. <laughs> let's not lose all hope yet. But yeah, rock with bomb, especially if bomb buffs the rock, we're, 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 we're just done. We're just done because we cannot, we don't have the damage to punch through a buffed rock. Uh, let's see. Who's he putting the buff on? Uh, is that on rock? I, I didn't actually see it. I didn't actually see it. Ooh, that one's going to be tricky. Oh, it's going to be super tricky. Okay, with the one tap happened on Yellowy, which maybe my bunny stays alive. Okay, yeah, the swirl only happened on... Oh, I didn't even have the camera active. Dude, it triggers me. That's something I really want to see fixed, is the camera for the second team being left on when you go into it again. Because the, it only works on like the first battle you enter. Because if you've cleared the first stage and then you're only battling the second stage, the camera will stay on. But I don't know why it turns off for the second battle. It's so weird. So let's try this one again. So we stop the assassin. We don't even stop him actually. So maybe we don't. Um, I'm just going to slow this down because I want to see who on the enemy team. Can we get the invincibility, please? Yeah, see, see, the rocks got it, and there is no way I'm killing that dude. So maybe I got to find a way to interrupt the bomb's uh, ability usage, which I don't think I really can. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, can we can we jump? Can we jump? Can we jump? Okay, I have no idea what happened there. It was it was like we were completely locked out. We might have got charmed by the the granny. I don't know. All right, let's drop you then. If that's not working, let's go with a... Uh, I'm going to try something random here. See if we can grapple the bomb in. 
and sort of stop him doing his plays. I don't know if it works because I think Evan's going to die to the assassin unless Evan's got enough tankiness to proc his invisibility, but I'm pretty sure he gets one tapped by an auto attack. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right, can we grab the bomb? Okay, we missed the grab. Okay, so th the assassin actually runs into my tank, so that's okay. Runs into the Zahard. Okay, can we get can we get Zahard's ult too, please? Did we get bombs buff? We did get bombs buff. So you can see, we, we have no trouble with the rest of the team. The problem is that Rock, because he gets bombs buff, it is so hard to kill him. So I think we would, I think we might actually have a chance at that stage. Um, if, let's see how this goes. Did we get a kill there? Yeah, dude, we're not even getting the kill. My Huarian damage just isn't, isn't there at this deficit. She's just struggling. It, like we, we can definitely RNG it uh, and eventually get it. But like, we're not, I, I think we might be missing, might need the accuracy. Might be accuracy issues. That might be the issue that we're having. I'm not too sure, but yeah, Huarian just seems like she's not doing damage now, which kind of bones me. She is in the 173 slot. So yeah, I think this guy, uh, if we put our best, see, I don't want to steal it off him. So we'll steal the second best gear. We'll steal the second best gear. Oh, wait, that's the best one. All right, here's what it is. Uh, we'll steal that off you. Steal that off of you. All right, so let's see if we can grapple that bomb and interrupt him from getting the buff off on the rock. I think we actually win this stage at like a five and a half X deficit, which I'm really hoping we can. Let's see. And then we can probably RNG for the uh, the other win. So we just keep missing it. So that's I think that's just accuracy issues. But I feel like if we do manage to get that bomb, we could be in with a bit of uh, action. So once again, yeah, okay, that one's going to take some trying, but you get an idea with what I'm looking at. I know people like just seeing how I try and push. Uh, so yellow, we got clapped there, which kind of sucks, but uh, let's just see if we can... Yeah, look at that. We did no damage on the Rachel. We did absolutely zero damage. Oh, but Rachel has the defense buffs. That's the problem. That's the problem. Honestly, I honestly I think looking at their health, if we get a bit better RNG, I think we can actually get that stage. Because once we get the Rachel down, uh, we should be pretty safe to RNG our way through it. The Rachel is the hard part. So, okay, so I actually ended the video, and, I, and then the next try, I actually got it on the Huarian stage. So, like I said, this one I felt like we were in the position where we were going to be able to do it. So I had to keep <laughs> we're redoing the outro because I reckon we might actually get this stage. So this is what Huarian can do, and this is why I absolutely love her. Even though sometimes it may look like she's not going to work uh with the rng of those shields it can be absolutely huge honestly the most clutch thing here is that we had the tsunami dude the uh the wave dude survive the entire battle because otherwise we get charmed by the granny and the granny completely bones us so this it was super clutch you can see the granny charms our bunny on a box and she just runs in and gets killed uh and having those two alive until this stage was very important because bunny on a box gets killed here because she runs in but the wave runner i don't even know what to call this dude he just sits there and keeps attacking which is fantastic and as you can see we, we almost die but these shields just keep procking the wave and then there's the charm there's the second charm if the wave dude was dead we were boned there we wouldn't have made that through but because we kept that extra unit alive we had the two units to bait the charms by granny we got it so that is perfect so now we've only got to do that first side i thought the first side was actually going to be the the easiest side so let's see if we can get this so once again we need this guy to land the grapple i i don't know how to make him land the grapple i just think this is going to be a million tries until he lands it because he doesn't have great stats he doesn't have great gear um and we just need him to land the grapple essentially is all we need to happen so let's see if we can get it to happen oh we got it we got it we got it okay is this going to stop bomb doing his thing Yes, I think we're going to stop him. I think we're going to stop him. Uh, I don't know if we stopped him. Does Rock have the buff? Oh, Rock didn't have the buff, but we died. Okay, because it disrupted our formation. I think we can actually get this. I think we can actually get this. I, 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 I'm holding out hope on this one. Uh, so if he gets the, if it looks like if he gets the animation, it means he's getting the grab and it doesn't get avoided. Okay, that one got avoided. Rip. So nothing we can do about this. Bomb's going to just screw us over here. And we, we, we're kind of done. 
Yeah, we don't we, we don't have it because Bomb died early. All right, that that kind of sucks. Let's, listen, now I, I'm pretty impressed with how we go. I'm gonna do a few retries and see if we can get it. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we've managed to get it. I ended up swapping back to the doctor to see if the doctor's like little lunge would interrupt Bomb's like cycle and make him miss it. It didn't, but it gave us the RNG to get there. Uh, I got really close the first time I tried. Then I went about four times where I got nowhere near it, and then the fifth try we managed to get it. So it was just RNG about getting Ehua to survive against that rock. It was essentially what happened. Uh, and then getting double Evan ult was what we needed, essentially. And we managed to get it. I'm really wrapped with that. So that means we're going to push up to 20. I've still got three mercenary usages. So uh, we'll take we'll check what 19-20 um, has in terms of SSR pluses in that stage. Um, and we'll probably just use the mercenary if you have to. So we got up the back here. We've got the Evan ult going. We're going to get healed up. And then we... Look, the rock just doesn't do damage. And then we get another Evan ult, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Then he hits us with the damage. Then we spam some basics. We get the uh, the immobilize on him. And then we get the shield straight after, which is super clutch. And then luckily he doesn't one tap us and we get the kill. So that is that. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with getting that clear in. Uh, so let's just bounce out. What do we get here, mage? Wait, I've already got that for you, don't I? Yeah, I've already got that for her, rip. Rip, 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 rip. That's all right. I need to start getting the defensive ones from the shop for her. But I want to bounce back over here and see. I, I just wish it gave me the mage stuff earlier. The early on, it just gives you the, like the tank, the warrior, and the ranger stuff. And I'm like, I don't need any of that. Okay, honestly, Evan, without a bomb, this might be doable for me. This might be doable for me. Uh, this will be harder. Honestly, this, this enemy team at 11 million power will be easier than this team at 8-7 because this team unfortunately has this dude. Unless these two have higher attack than him, which I'm doubtful on. If those two have higher attack, we will be good. But we also have an array which we have to deal with, which is kind of annoying because then they get energy. But it's not the end of the world. Uh, but he's going to be my biggest issue there. But we'll have to see how we go. Anyway, that is enough from me, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.